तो मैं बात करूंगा अबाउट द वेरिएशन प्रिंसिपल वेरिएशनल प्रिंसिपल एंड इट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट मेथड ऑफ द क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स एंड वी नो द वेरी वी फंक्शंस राइट एंड वी नो सम आइडियल केसेस सिंपल हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर सॉरी सिंपल हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर एसएचओ वी पोटेंशियल वेल्स एंड पोटेंशियल स्टेप एंड मेनी थिंग्स दीज आर द आइडियल केस ऑफ द क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स हियर but we know that in this universe everything is in perturbed state means something is changed from the ideal case <clears throat> so we we know that the energy can be found from this solving these equations which is very famous rodinger's equation and uh, this equations here let us suppose we know that this is the hamiltonian and normally for for any particle which having potential energy plus kinetic energy the operator looks like this right so प्रॉब्लम है इस तरह कि वी कैन नॉट सॉल्व द दिस इक्वेशन फॉर ईच वन केस मीन्स हम इस इक्वेशन को हर समय सॉल्व नहीं कर सकते हम वही फंक्शन को फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं इस इक्वेशन को सॉल्व करके हम की वैल्यू यहाँ रखें लेकिन स्टूडेंट जर्स इक्वेशन को हर टाइम पे सॉल्व नहीं किया जा सकता वेरिएशन प्रिंसिपल पटरवेशन थ्योरी से डिफरेंट है एंड इट इज टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द पटरवेशन थ्योरी टाइम इंडिपेंडेंट एंड टाइम डिपेंडेंट सो वॉट वी कैन कंसिडर हियर दैट लेट एस सपोज हम एक हीलियम आइटम कंसिडर करते हैं लेट एस दिस इज हीलियम आइटम विच है जेड ई चार्ज एट द्यू एट न्यूक्लियस एंड फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियस एट आर वन डिस्टेंस लेट एस सपोज देयर इज इलेक्ट्रॉन नेगेटिव वन एंड देयर इज इलेक्ट्रॉन नेगेटिव टू सपोज हाउ आई विल फाइंड आउट हाई हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द वे फंक्शन फॉर द हीलियम आइटम यूजिंग द बेसिक क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स वट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड अप टू नाउ and let us suppose these are two electrons in helium atoms and this is r1 r2 and this is r1 r2 this is distance right so i am not including modulus here for it is only for the explanation that why it is necessary here and jab aap iska normally iska hamiltonian likhoge to ye is tarike se kuch hoga for 2m into delta 1 square minus del sorry not delta 2m del 2 square del 1 means it is for the r1 and r2 and this is the uh, kinetic energy for the both molecules let us suppose i'm considering here that jd is so high mass because 8036 1836 36 times more mass so i consider that it is in finite times time mass so e jd square upon r1 minus jd square upon r2 and plus for this interactions e square upon r12 you can not solve this hamiltonian if you will put this h in the schrodinger equation and you will not be able to find out the solution for such it is very complicated because there are three variables here and three variables are here these are partial variable and it is too difficult to solve this problem so the difficulty is to solve here this equation you will be famous if you will solve this equation if you will put it here and this solve this whole equation right and find out what is so but we can estimate but approximately we can we can estimate the ground state energy is zero right anyhow we can calculate that let us these are including these all intact and we can calculate some ground state energy and from the ground state energy i can go to the ground state wave function right this is the approach basically we have first me we have first measure by some experimental method we have measured the ground state energy and then we want to calculate the ground fun ground state wave function okay ground ground state wave function and it is calculated from this one but we having a concept that let us suppose we know that the ground state energy the minimum energy right for any system and if it is ground state energy then if i will calculate some ex this expectation value it will definitely be psi is expectation and e is equal to the over whole over whole volume element and uh, psi h psi d tau and integration psi sorry and d tau right so this whole thing if it is normalized then it will be equal to 1 otherwise it will it, I will need to calculate this factor right so we can calculate this energy 
mathematically from here but we have calculated this energy basically let us suppose then what will be this and this function what will be this right let us suppose i have calculated e as e0 and for an ideal system for an ideal system what will be this will be an exact wave function means accurate wave function let us suppose i have for I assume that psi 0 is exact and corresponding energy is E0 for the exact case, right? This exact case. And we can we can say that we can say that this E0 energy is correspond to psi naught, which is this is exact and it is exact ground state. But we know that what is the exact ground state, right? Means Exact ground state means what is the value of E? I, I want to uh, rewrite this statement again. Okay, so this is the expectation value of this E and it gives E. Because this phi is a function of some parameter, it may it is a parameter which decide the value of H over expectation value of h or energy right this this parameter optimize phi and corresponding optimization gives the optimum value of e it is i consider that when i consider ki ki ye ground state hai to ground statement it will be optimum means it will be minimum then for that particular value of that parameter this value of the parameter let us suppose a or z no matter what is here but this parameter will also optimize this energy so the concept here is that how we will how to optimize we will take that del h over del that parameter parameter is equal to the zero right when will this will be applicable only when this parameter will minimize this average value of Hamiltonian let us suppose as I consider that phi, uh, psi naught was exact and E naught was exact ground state like simple harmonic oscillator E h cross upon 2 omega let us suppose for the ground state one dimensional harmonic oscillator if I will change the psi to different case right for the let us suppose i take i took x and x a minus x square like yeah x into x minus a this not this one wave function then if i calculate it let us suppose this is my function right and i calculate my e minus the minimum energy minimum energy for the ground state corresponding to that function is e my it will always be greater than it will always be greater than e naught right means the minimum value the minimum value of estimated ground state energy will always be greater than the exact um, ground state of the system right but it is it it almost equal to that right so this is the concept that we consider that function phi whatever we have assumed is almost the ground state right this is the basic thing is here and the condition here is that there should be should sorry should should not be any node in v function let us suppose the v function cannot be like that right let us suppose 0 to a v function cannot like that there should not be any node and the without node this v function will like that so that's why we we will use this uh, method mainly for the ground state so ye kuch problems hain jo previous uh, year puche gayi jaise 2000 Satra Dojar Sola. So I will explain uh, only two examples here. Okay, then rest of you can solve. Question number 58 Psi x is given to us and uh, Psi 
x इज इक्वल टू द ए ए स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर एंड ये नॉर्मलाइज हुए फंक्शन नहीं है तो फर्स्ट हमारा टास्क ये है कि इसे नॉर्मलाइज कर दो नॉर्मलाइज करके और हम वे फंक्शन को टेस्ट कर सकते हैं कि ये क्या मतलब ये केस वेरिएशन प्रिंसिपल के लिए सॉल्व किया जा सकता है या वे फंक्शन वेरिएशन प्रिंसिपल यूज करने के लिए उपयुक्त है मीन्स ग्राउंड स्टेट दैन वी कैन ड्रॉ द वे फंक्शन एंड वी विल फाइंड दैट दैट नो नोड इज देयर ओके इफ नो नोड इज देयर देन वी कैन कैलकुलेट द एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ ई एंड एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ E can be calculated from expectation value of T and kinetic energy and V potential. And then we can calculate expectation of E and for the parameter A because we function is depending on A also. So in the energy will be optimized by that parameter and we differentiate it with first differential to the zero. It will optimize and we can calculate the minimum value of the ground state as the answer in the similarly we can similarly we can solve question 60 right right the wave function is given and we can find out that this is the wave function of hydrogen atom okay hydrogen atom and the central potential like an electron is revolving around some positive charge okay then this looks like same and we can draw this wave function as it looks without node so it is perfect this is not the wave function is given and uh, this is already normalized and we can calculate expectation value of e by expectation value of t and v and then we can calculate then we can calculate the del e upon del alpha and alpha is a parameter that that is playing as a variation parameter here and we can calculate expectation value of e so there are mainly few few things first normalize second uh, nodes third calculating average and fourth that finding a and putting back into the expectation value of e and then find out the solution okay Thank you.